Hello and welcome to another Science Bang video. In this video we're going to look at diamagnetic levitation. And here we've got an array of nearly new magnets and floating on top is a small piece of um, polycyclic carbon. And you can see that it's definitely levitating if you get a sheet of paper cleanly underneath. So if we carefully move this to one side so the magnet doesn't run away, just like that. And we grab ourselves a sheet of paper. We're going to draw ourselves three magnets, but imagine we're looking side on that direction rather than top down, which we're looking at now. So we've got one of our magnets there. Please excuse the terrible drawing. Um, now, in order for these magnets to stick together, um, you're going to have an arrangement of uh, something of the ilk of north, south, south, north, north, south. So what that means is that what the field lines are doing, bear in mind this is going to be mirrored top and down, but I'll only draw the top to illustrate it. So we're going to have field lines coming out somewhat like this. And obviously we've got going out to the other magnets in the array. Now, bearing in mind that magnetic field lines are completely man-made constructs to describe a continuous vector field, uh, but they do help us illustrate what's going on here. So now, our, imagine our magnet is over the centre of one of these neodymium uh, magnets, i.e. over here. We can see that the magnet sits nicely on um, the two, uh, two hills of the magnetic fields. Whereas if we imagine our magnet was here, we can see that it would just probably just roll straight off, which is exactly what we see. If we just move that over to the intersection between two magnetic field lines, we can just see that it drops back into the hollow. But if it comes with too much force, it's going to run away. Let's put that back on. There we go. You can see it's always just kind of falling back into that nice little stable arrangement there. So we're going to take our magnetic viewing film, which we looked at in another video. I'll put the link in the description. And we're going to place it over our array of magnets. Now, think back to that diagram I just drew, um, where we've got essentially magnetic field lines hopping over here. So when they're in the centre between, or, or when they're on the lines between the two uh, magnets, the field lines are going to be running that way. So they're going to be parallel to the sheet of paper. Therefore, it's going to be uh, give us a lighter field. So if we lift this up, we can kind of see about the height of the magnet. I mean, that's probably a bit higher. But as we go up and down, we can see that the parallel lines get further apart. So we can see that essentially the magnet. In fact, it's probably going to show very badly. If we put that on top, you can see how it's basically sitting on the two peaks there. Between, well, actually, it's probably better to see this way. Um, it's more obvious that way. So we can see that those two lines. It's sitting on those two lines effectively and that way as well. And if we just push it over to the centre of one of those lines, it's going to want to run off the lines. Simples. So as you can see from that experiment, we've only got, we already had one layer of neodymium magnets and a sheet of steel on the bottom to keep them in place. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, double up the neodymium magnets so they are two layers thick. Now in theory this should give us a, uh, a stronger um, <clears throat> magnetic field and therefore if we are lucky we should be able to see some stronger um, levitation. Neodymium magnets are crazy strong for the size. Ah, let's do three layers. Why not? We've got enough here. Okay, let's get our, our carbon, polycyclic carbon. And yeah, I think there's definitely more levitation going on there. I mean, we can slide that under much more easily. It's a much bigger gap, as you can see. There's much more levitation going on there. If we put it back down to the, where we've got one layer thick, you can see it's 
not levitating as much, it's much harder to get that underneath, there's much less clearance. So, there we have it. Diamagnetic levitation.